It's Wednesday, third day of the week, as I always say, and it's another edition of today's talk. Today, I have another really good friend of mine. I have Sheila Morgan of Sheila Morgan Coaching. Good afternoon, or good morning, or good day to you, Sheila. How are you? I'm awesome, Marty. How are you? I'm fantastical. Glad to have you with me. Thank you. Glad to be here. You know, there is so much new about you that I just don't even know where to start. You know, when I first met you, you were just kind of breaking into this coaching thing. And now, like, I see you everywhere. And everybody's always talking about you. So tell me. I love that. Tell me. Tell me what's new. And, you know, I got to also tell you, I haven't had a chance to tell you, but your hair is fabulous. I didn't even get a chance to tell you when you changed it because I, I went a separate direction. We were in a group together or whatever. It, love the hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much. So tell us about Sheila Morgan Coaching. What oh do you my do? gosh, this is this is my dream life, being able to help people and to show them that they can just love themselves, they can love other people, they can create an awesome life that's authentic and courageous and has all the things in it that they've that they've always wanted and not feel like that they're like they are missing their purpose or the meaning in their life. I just love it. I like that word authentic. That's really a dangerous word to throw around because I mean, I, I mean, I coach from time to time and I know a lot of other people that coach and I think that word authentic is a dangerous one. Why? Why you do know? you say that? I, just because, you know, it's hard to back up. It's hard to back. How do you quantify it? How do you quantify authentic? for your coaching for people. I love that. I believe that we each decide what's authentic for us. Okay. And no one else can decide that for us. If it feels real and right to me, it's authentically me. And every day we can step into a new authentic version of ourselves. I love that. So what made you decide to start doing this? What were you doing before you started coaching? So that's a great question. Um, I, I've been in the timber industry for 30 years. I was uh, everything oh. from, I worked in a logging office as a secretary. Okay. I managed a, an office for trucking, like for wood chips and all that and flatbeds. I worked in a sawmill, everything from shoveling uh, sawdust to driving forklifts to uh, becoming a supervisor. Okay. And during my entire time of everywhere that I've ever worked, I've always been that person that people could talk to. Oh, that yeah. Person that people were like, Sheila, you're such a good listener. Oh, my gosh. Can, you, can I share with you? Or like they had a problem. They needed a shoulder to lean on. And and I always was like, I really wanted to help people, but I never felt like I had the ability to help them. But the one thing that always spoke to me was, I wish people could see in them what I see in them, mm -hmm. the light, the spark, the humanness, and that they could love themselves the way that they wanted others to love them and see their own value. And, and, and I know that my, I had that same struggle. And so I was always looking for that too. Where's my purpose? Where's my value? What's my the meaning in my life. What's my mission? What do I want to do? Oh, right. lo and behold, it was to be able to do that for people, like in a professional capacity for that to become my life. And in every job I've ever had, that always became a part of it. I became a trainer or a mentor, or like when I was a supervisor and working with my crew, it just always became, it was just always there. It was always intrinsic. It was like part of who you were. It was part of who I was and I didn't see it. And, and I would love to be able to help people see that part of them early, like earlier than I did. Like here I, I'm 52 now and doing this and thought, man, if I didn't know about this in my 20s or in my 30s. And, and you weren't ready. You weren't ready to see it I know, yet. right? Right. You weren't like, ready we are to all see on that. our path, right? And, and things come in, in due time. And, exactly. and there were certain things I had to go through in my life to get to that point. Yep. Well, Baby, I'm here. <laughs> I, as I always think about that, like my, my grandmother used to always say, you know, the good Lord won't give you more than you can handle. I'm like, mm. 
Dude, tell the good Lord to chill, man. I've had enough already. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Tell him to just pass it on to somebody else. But it's just like, okay, I guess. Coffee break and you don't right? this. <laughs> it's like, I guess I need a little bit more of a relatable experience to relate to more people. I get it. Okay. <laughs> so how many years have you been doing this? So I've been coaching professionally for two and a half years now. Okay. Um, and I, I wanted to do it for so long. I applied to become a coach like in 2015. And I, I signed up for a, a training school and paid the admittance fee. And then before I even started, I bailed. I, I got so scared. I can't do what? this. Why did you do Oh, was it just overwhelming? I was terrified. Who am oh, I to yeah. coach people? Like, my life is terrible. I, I'm not good at this kind of stuff. You know, not realizing that it's the going to school part that teaches you how to be good at that. Right. So, um, so I bailed. And then it took a few years. And I worked my way back up to it. And then got certified. And, and I've been coaching ever since. And then in 2019, I quit my job at the timber industry and have been just coaching. Wow, that, I mean, that's amazing. I think, especially in these times, I'm curious if you think about, I mean, this used to be my one of my go-to questions initially when, once COVID hit, but I'm curious, how has your business been affected by, by, the, by the pandemic? Oh, have you wow. picked up business? Has it slowed down? I'm almost assuming you picked up a lot more business maybe. Well, I've picked up business and I have grown myself exponentially during that time, um, just the, the believing that I was a person who, like this is just a fear that I had about myself, that I wasn't uh, enough of a people person, that I was too much of an introvert and that I really couldn't what? connect with people. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I began to see that that wasn't like a, a fixed thing about me which is a belief that I had about myself and that I actually love people and I love being around people and I love helping people and taking on that I really could help people and that's really that's really helped me and so now I do more public speaking oh, and awesome. getting out and giving presentations which is what I, I, I love doing that you know like coaching one-on-one -on -one is awesome that's really powerful but being able to give a presentation to help many people at one time, it's like, ah, oh, like. Do you do like, do you charge like a Clinton type speaker fee or do you have like, is it? Someday I will do that right now. <laughs> I'm doing it pro bono. Good to know, folks. If you need a speaker pro bono, I will vouch for her. Yeah. Maybe I'll even use you for yeah. my group. I so have I a couple uh, coming up. I'm speaking for the, um, I'm looking at my calendar on the wall here. The Pacific Northwest business owners. Okay. And and I'm speaking for the MPT Coalition in May. Cool. Well, I would love to get you in the LinkedIn local uh, uh, Facebook group. I would love to have you uh, do a little talk for them if you'd like. Awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. Because I know I'm trying to get that revitalized. Since I know at some point in time we're going to see each other in person, so I'm going to start doing so events great. again. Yeah. But I, I need something. <laughs> need something. I know my hugs, uh, my hug bank is is deaf is in the. I, I'm trying to think of a cute way to say that I need. Yeah, a hug. <laughs> I need some hugs, basically. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to think. And what, 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 this is what I'm really worried about, though, because if you remember, right before COVID hit, there was still that whole argument about, well, do we do side hugs? You know, what's appropriate? Oh. And all that. So now I'm like thinking. Am I like a walking HR problem now? Because I'm like, I'm a hugger. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Like, I got to walk up and, is it okay if I hug you now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll know. I'll know who I can or can't we'll hug. We'll have I'm to not, figure that out again. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm just, I'm not going to do the side hug. Just not going to do it. So <laughs> yeah, let me ask you this. I'm curious because, you know, I when I used to, when I moved here to Oregon about 13 years ago, Whew, a long time ago, I was coaching full time. It was a different type. Type I was doing relationship and I was doing you know some financial mindset stuff. And it was a different type, a different time. You know, we were dealing with a crisis, but it was basically man made. <laughs> well, I guess the pandemic's kind of man made too, as far as I know. Possibly, <laughs> we don't know. Apparently. Hasn't been confirmed. But <laughs> what I what I think about is you know I actually stopped because I literally there was so much going on i just i couldn't help people i i literally they were so jammed up 
they couldn't stay focused finance the whole financial world was just completely collapsed right. you know it was that time it was that time and it's just people couldn't even afford to show up for sessions right. you know what are some of the biggest challenges that you have to deal with right now when you, when people talk to you what are some of the biggest ones you deal with well one of the biggest ones is just that people don't see how they are talking to themselves hmm. they see okay. that as when they think about themselves they don't see it as that's just how i think about me they see it as that's how i am oh, like okay. it is a fixed factual thing well i'm just the kind of person that's always late to everything or i've never been someone that's creative or i'm not an artist or well you know i'm always the responsible one and they think of that as a fixed personality trait and i don't know if you've read the book personality isn't permanent no i have not um benjamin benjamin hardy okay. is that his name um, I think that's his name. It may be wrong. Um, but it's the idea that we get to decide and practice how we are and who we're going to be. Like I was just talking about the introvert extrovert thing. Yeah. I really believed I was introverted and I, and I have like these particular traits about me and they're just, they're just the way that I think about myself and the way that we think about the world. Like we can think about the world as the world is crazy or we can think about the world as this place where things happen there's mm -hmm. crazy stuff there's not so there's amazing miraculous stuff yeah you know and and our brain is geared and wired to automatically seek the negative in the world that's like the right. primitive survival mechanism in our brain right so four out of five times we're going to see the negative so okay. we have to intentionally create the positive and I think a lot of times that's the, the, the toughest thing for people to get over or to become aware of in coaching. They just think that that negative is just what's so or what's true and real. And, and they actually, it's just going to be it's there. It's the filter. Right. All right. That's a good, a very good point. Very good point. Now, if I think about help, because I, you know, now that I'm again back in this space where I can do referrals, because mm -hmm. I, I wasn't for a little while, because I was, you know, employed in the e-quadrant and now i'd like to be able to find out and i'm sure viewers would as well you know, what's the best way we can help you i mean if we're trying to get you business or i mean are you doing fine do you not need any business i mean of course you do everybody needs business <laughs> what 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 kind of referrals should we be looking for for you i mean how do we help you awesome thank you i i love referrals and when when i work with people the people that I love working with the most, they they have a big heart. They want to make a difference in the world. And they are afraid that they're either not able to or they're not quite sure how they're going to do that. They feel a little maybe stuck or unsure, like they don't have the confidence in themselves. Yeah. And they're looking like they like, gosh, I don't even know where to start or or I took this job because it, it paid good. But you know what I really want to do is I want to write or I want to sing or they have some kind of uh, dream that they have yet to follow or they might even be at that place where they haven't even allowed themselves to dream. Mm. Like, like I was a young mom and so I didn't go to college right out of high school. You're still a young mom. You're younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I... Oh, happy Mother's Day, by the way, late. I didn't get a chance Aww. to say it back then. So happy so late Mother's Day. Sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> well, but I learned that, that to give myself permission to dream. And that's what I want to help people do. You know, they come to me thinking that they don't have a dream. And really, they've just pushed it aside so much. It's like they shoved it to the back of the closet and they completely, you know, like piled boxes and coats and mm -hmm. it's behind the you know the vacuum cleaner and they don't they don't remember where they put it and right gotta go clean it out and go find it and then look at it and say is that what i really want to do if not do something else but i help them get some spark back awesome get some passion back it's a lot of fun 
Now, I remember when I met with you, like, do you have sort of like an intake process, right? Before you kind of, or is it just like kind of get to know you kind of session sort of thing? Or do you just kind of like yeah. dive right into the cranium? <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually have, I, what I ask people to do is like, I have a, a worksheet that's called, uh, how do you think about yourself? Mm -hmm. And that's on my website. People can click on that and download that worksheet and it can actually help them look and see like, how do I think about myself? And there's a few questions and a lot of times people discover, wow, I didn't realize that I had these negative thoughts about myself. Like they're kind of running in the background and we don't hear them. Mm -hmm. So that's one way they can start looking to see, oh, well, maybe I need some help, like, like reprogramming these, right? right? And then if they want to chat with me, I do offer an hour discovery call and it's no obligation. We just chat, like, where are you at? Where do you want to be? Or where are you at? And you know there's something else, something more, better, however you want to phrase that for your life, but you're just not sure what that is. Mm -hmm. We will have a conversation and start digging in there. You know, I, just listening to you and just where you've grown from when you first started talking about doing this, I kind of just get this, this sort of like this weird kind of CSI sort of thing. You're kind of <laughs> like CSI for coaching. Cause I mean, you're so <laughs> seriously into this but it's like you're like really like getting to that granular trying to find those clues and all those like things that would find the actual you know the culprit who's responsible for this mm, all right he did yeah. it <laughs> right and you're gonna find that 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 culprit and identify it and make sure they're taken care of so i think that's kind of cool that's great that's a great way to put it. it it is literally called causal coaching looking for the cause of what's How going funny. on wow Marty, you smarty. <laughs> Marty, smarty. I love it. That's a better thought than what you had earlier. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, folks. I don't know what she's talking about. I was saying that the whole time. So, <laughs> but before we go, okay, so I know what you're looking for, but if people are looking for you, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Definitely check out my website. Okay. It's Sheila Morgan Coaching, and Sheila is spelled S H E. I-L-A, I before E except in Sheila. It's like even Starbucks got it right. Sweet, sweet, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shameless plug for them. Yeah, I'm right. Who our coffee sponsor. I mean, our this generic coffee place. Got Thank it. you, because our Perfect. coffee sponsor is Black Rock Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Don't, know about oh, that don't tell them I went there. <laughs> Not meant to go to, to Black Rock. And get yes, you meant to go to Black Rock. Uh, however, yes. Okay. So, so back to the website. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so your website. Dot com, and right. you can get, sign up, get that worksheet that'll put you on my email list. And if you're on my email list, you'll get notified of the uh, masterclass I have coming up in June. It's on uh, like loving yourself more, having better relationship with yourself and with other people. It's awesome. I don't have a link for that yet. It's still in process. So be on my list and you will, you'll get that information and it's free. And uh, uh, folks, I'll make sure I have all that information in the comments. Also, I'll have a link to this. If you guys would like to be like a, a guest on my show, this wasn't so painful, was it? Do you, no, do you want to ask everybody about. the same no. question? Do you have fun? Yeah, I love chatting party. with you. Party, Marty. Party, Marty. That's another <laughs> good one that goes with Marty. <laughs> party, Marty and Tequila Sheila. To keep, oh, hey, we need to have another party. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to invite Taco Joe. Taco Joe needs to be at ta <laughs> Party Marty with Tequila Sheila. What do we say with, hmm, trying to think. Hmm, what goes with Kendra? My hmm. wife doesn't have an, yeah. Hmm. We're going to hmm. have to work on that one. Lasagna, Kendra? No, that doesn't quite uh, We'll figure it out. So <laughs> before we go, do you have anything you want to share with us? Any parting thoughts? Any share? Any, anything? Any words you want to share with us before we go? I just want to look at, tell everybody to love themselves the way that they wish other people loved them. And stop hey. expecting other people to do that for you. Because it starts with loving yourself. Well, I love you. I love your husband. I love the, mm -hmm. the fact that you took time to be in my show. So thank you very much. Truly appreciate you. I appreciate you too. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.
Happy Wednesday. Hey, everyone's in you. See ya. <laughs> So I told